Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and today I'm going to be assembling and reviewing the You Like It L-shaped computer desk. For a limited time, I'll be able to give out exclusive one-time use discount codes. PM me or leave me a comment below if you want one. The desk comes flat packed, so there will be some assembly required. The frame of the desk is all hollow steel bars that are pre-drilled and threaded for easy assembly. The desktop surface is made of wood with a glossy black veneer finish. All the parts in the box are marked with letters or numbers, either directly on the part or on the bag that they're contained in. So in order to keep track of which part is which, don't unwrap them until you're ready to use it during assembly. The pack of hardware also includes a small screwdriver and wrench that you'll need for the assembly. There's a multi-page set of illustrated instructions that doesn't have words. Although it may look daunting, it's actually pretty straightforward. And I'll take you through each step and show you how to put it together. First, ensure that you've received all the parts in the correct quantities listed on the first page. We'll start with parts 4, 12, 13, and 5. The first thing to do is install all the feet onto the bottom of each of these pieces. The feet simply thread into the hole on the bottom and you have rubber pads to protect your floors from scratches and to keep the desk from sliding. They're adjustable too if you need to level the desk on uneven floors. We'll work on the short side of the desk first, using parts 4, 12, and 6, and two of the longer bolts marked B. With the brackets facing up, feed a bolt through the bottom of the lower right hole and attach part 6. That's this bar. Tighten it with a screwdriver. On the opposite side of part 6, attach part 12, one of the feet, with another bolt. Now this section should be able to stand on its own. Next we'll attach parts 8 and 9. Match the grooves of part 8 into the bracket along the back side and set the other end inside the leg opposite. Here's where you may need a mallet to seat the bracket in all the way. On the other side, attach with a bolt marked B. Repeat the bracket assembly steps for part nine. We'll put this side of the desk aside and work on the long side of the L using parts 13 and five. We'll connect the two parts with part seven in the same manner as before. Be sure to use B bolts on either side. For the next step, we'll need the shorter bolt marked A and the nuts marked D. Install the bar marked 11 into the bracket on top, which will be along the back of the desk. Then line up the two holes on the connector tab on the opposite side with the two holes at the top of the leg. Install using two A bolts and two nuts. You'll need to use the included wrench to hold the bolt while you tighten the screw. Note that one side of the wrench has a larger opening, and you'll want to use the smaller side. Now attach the bar marked 10 to the last remaining bracket. Here we have the long side of the desk complete and the short side. And what we'll do is turn the short side 90 degrees so that the longer bar can connect these two at the joints. On the inside connection, the screw attaches like so. Then on the end screw, it attaches from the outside in. Next, take the long thin bars marked 15 and cross them to form an X. They'll attach from the outside of the desk with the bolts inserted towards the center. Then attach all four corners using the A bolts with nuts. Where the bars cross, use the small C bolt with a nut. You'll follow the exact same process with the shorter thin bars marked 3. Again, secure the middle point with the short C bolt. On top of the short side of the desk are five mounting holes. Place the wooden top marked 1 with the cutout facing the back corner. Then feed five A bolts up from the bottom into the holes on the bottom of the desktop. You may need to shift the wood surface as you work to align them with the holes, so it helps to get all the bolts attached part way before tightening them fully. We'll do the same with the large side of the desktop, making sure the holes on the bottom align with the mounting points in the bars. If they don't, try turning the tabletop around. We'll get all six screws a few turns into each hole, then tighten them all the way. If when you're done, you notice that the two table surfaces are uneven, you can adjust the longer side so that it sits flush with the short side. Slightly loosen the nuts and bolts holding the bracket. Push the desktop up until it's flush, then retighten the bolts. When you're done, you should be able to get pretty close to perfectly flush so that you don't feel an edge where the two meet. The last and final step is to attach the corner braces which attach with two A bolts each. When fully assembled, you have one spare piece of each of the bolts and nuts. The finish of the desk surface is glossy and slightly rough with a wood grain pattern. The desk feels pretty lightweight and is easily picked up and moved by two people, but can also support up to 50 pounds of weight. Here's my setup with my computer, printer, and office chair. 
The length of the long side is about 66 inches to the wall, and the length of the short side is about 48 inches to the wall. The height of the tabletop from the floor is about 29 inches. I now have plenty of additional workspace from the angle side of the desk. I can easily turn and use it when not working on the computer. There's room enough to put the monitor and the keyboard and mouse in front of it. The one thing that I don't like about the open back design is that all your cables will be visible underneath. So if that's going to bother you, it's worth implementing some sort of cable management and organization to hide it. I do like that my office chair can slide completely under the desk, including the arms. Overall, this computer desk is functional, feels durable, and has a clean look and style. It was easily assembled in less than an hour. It also gives me plenty of room to work with on top and space underneath for the computer or short filing cabinet. Again, for a limited time, I'll be able to give out exclusive one-time use discount codes that'll save you 50% off this desk as a special thank you for watching this video. PM me or leave me a comment below if you want one. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.